Good morning children. Let's start the class with the prayer. Oh God, bless all of us so that we may learn the subjects better and do our duties well. So, welcome to the class. In the last class, we have learned about the features of living things. That means the what are the specialities or the uh, what the living things can do you have learned in that class isn't it so first we will see what are the features of living things then we will go to the next one so what are the features of living things what are the things the living things can do living things need food and water to live yes again living things grow next living things breathe yeah again living things can move then what living things give birth to young ones living things can feel and the last point is living things that is living things they have a certain age up to which they live and that is known as the life span isn't it so these were the things you have learned about the features of living things again what you are going to see is the features of non living things what are the features of non living things so when you learn about the living things you will understand what will be the features of non living things what are they do they have any feature no they don't have any specialities they can uh, can they move from one place to another no they won't move from one place to another so just the opposite of the living things so from there itself you will get the difference between the living and non living things okay so uh, when you write the difference if i ask you to write the difference between living and non living things how can you write the living things yeah they need food and water to live what about the non living things it do not need any food and water to live next they grow and develop what about the non living things they do not grow next living things breathe non living things do not breathe living things can move non living things cannot move on their own what about the next living things give birth to young ones non living things do not give birth to young ones living things can feel the changes non living things cannot feel the changes again living things have a certain life span non living things do not have a certain life span so what so you, from here you got a difference between living and non living things so non living things do not move on their own they cannot feel if you know give some examples for the non living things chair yeah this uh, table the thing in which you are watching the class now phone or laptop whatever it is they all will not move without our help yes if you beat in it will it cry no why is it so it doesn't have any feelings it cannot sense the feeling so all these they do not breathe if you give some food to it will they eat it no they do not eat it so these are some of the features of non living things did you get it so that is about features of non living things and the difference you can compare it with the living thing first what point you are writing about the living thing just opposite you will write and give for the non living thing it is given on in your book okay difference between living and non living thing it is very important any four points should be studied from that again we'll see the non living things are of two types there are two types of non living things so non living things can be divided into two types one is natural non living things and next one is the man made non living things got it so natural non living things first we will see what is meant by natural non living thing non living things which you can see in nature which is not by any but it is naturally there ad aaru undakkanu thane avada kaana namukku those things which can be seen there in nature it is known as a natural non living things the next one is man made non living things okay man made is made by the man made by the people that is known as man made non living things so natural means now best example now what is happening here what is do you have now 
It is raining, isn't it? Rain. Is it a living thing? It's not a living thing. It's a non-living thing. But it is not made by anybody. It is naturally coming. So we can tell it is a natural non-living thing. So same way man-made. There are lots of things made by men. Isn't it? So your work for today, for you, what you have to do is find out some uh, two or uh, five natural non-living things which is not given in the textbook you have to find out. Huh? Then uh, two or three man-made non-living things. That is the work for you today. Okay. So that is for today and our class is over. Our lesson is over. So thank you children. Have a nice day. Learn the subjects very well. Understand each topic. And, okay. Thank you.